We're in Pasadena. It's very late at night. We're looking for the residence of a Mr. Stephen J. Canal, the creator of the 80. As a kid, I remember seeing a pipe-smoking beardy man every week on the end credits. Turns out he's one of the most powerful men in American TV, with a string of hits to his name, including 21 Jump Street and The Rockford Files. As the head honcho of the A-Team, he should be able to come up with some answers and maybe even help me find Mr. T. 12.20 we're looking for, Sam. I'm guessing he probably lives behind the gate. What? Hang on. 12.20, that's it. Spin it around, Sam. Just sit and wait for him to... Have you brought some snacks? I'm starving. According to his office, Canal is out of town and not due home till the early hours. But I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to sit it out until he gets back. We've been waiting here for over seven hours. I'm dying for a shit and there's still no sign of Canal. All the houses have armed security and I'm getting twitchy. We know Canal is very proud of the show, so hopefully he won't set the dogs on us when we jump in. There's a limo. Sammy, there's a limo. Right, we've got a limo. Is he turning in? Is he turning into 1220? This is it. This is him. This is him. This is him. Come on, Vin. This has got to be him. Come on. Come on, boys. Sammy! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me? Hello, I'm really sorry to bother you. You wouldn't be uh, Mr. Stephen J. Canal, would you? Yeah, I am. My name is Justin. I'm from Channel 4 in England. I'm doing a show called Bring Back the A-Team. It's my favourite show. I'm not right, kidding. It was the right. biggest show of the 1980s. This is the 80s. We're in the 2005 now. I know, but there's still... There's never been a show like it since it. I know it's been nearly 20 years. Would you mind? Could I talk to you? I've been sat out there all morning, and I would I love to... that tree with all those pigeons? I'm, with all, I'm covered in pigeon shit, Stephen Canal. <laughs> you can, sure. I'll... Is that all right? I can walk in? Yeah. Okay, there's no armed security. They're not going to take me down. They're not going to take me down. Having agreed to an interview, Canal invites me in for a chat. I want to know why, apart from Jack Ging, nobody ever died. And as part of my promise to Peppard's spirit, I need to know why the A-Team got cancelled. The thing I always remember is that no one died. Yeah. Everyone always remembers this. Nobody ever died in the A-Team. Two reasons for it. One is that it was an 8 o'clock show, and I felt a sense of responsibility not to be killing people in an 8 o'clock show. And then it started to get funny. I mean, started, we started to laugh. We, we once bought a, a helicopter crash from a James Bond movie. We went out and got a red and, and, and gray Bell Jet Ranger, yeah. and we used it as the heavy's helicopter. And at the end, Murdoch is they're chasing Murdoch down a canyon, and he pulls up, and this guy doesn't, and he flies this thing smack right into the... And we, we cut to the stock footage that we bought, this expensive shot we bought from the James Bond movie, and boom, that thing explodes. Then we cut to the floor down below the cliff, and we dropped, you know, a, a whole bunch of flaming wreckage. And out of this flaming wreckage come two stuntmen, and they get up and they go, <laughs> You okay, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's my favourite 18 non death. Yeah. Stephen, can I ask you about George and Mr. T? Did the relationship completely break down between Peppard uh, and T? You know, a little bit at the end it did, you know. I mean, it wasn't the happiest set I've ever been on, but it wasn't the most unhappy set either. Did he ever know, Stephen, that um, when the show was originally pitched, that Mr. T was the one that was. You know that you always wanted uh, you to know be in what? it. I, 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 there was some animosity or an, an, you know antipathy about that. Obviously, George, I think, was a little miffed. Yeah. You know, that he's the Hollywood star. Who's the, this guy with the and, mohawk? Yeah, and and you know he's the trained actor. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I get that. I mean, I understood that. Any uh, eighteen memorabilia, Stephen? Yeah, that you kept. Some, when the series ended, almost none of the props or costumes were kept. Although Stephen got to hold on to one of the icons of the show. So these are the chains that you had made for Mr. T in the show. That's right. And now they're going to go on you. Wow, come on. Let me get my hair out of the way. Let me get my hair around here. Whoa. Wow. I'm wearing Mr. T's chains. Wow. What do you think, huh? Now, you know. That is heavy. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? It huh? doesn't get any better. <laughs> I pity the fool. Pity the poor fool. I pity the poor fool. 
That is amazing, isn't it? I'm wearing a proper. You look at these. Can you want to see this? I'm wearing Mr. T's chains. Come on. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Come on. I, I love it. Hey, come on, everyone, Mike. I'm wearing Mr. T's. Bloody ridiculous, Trent. That's it. Coming up, a surprise visitor comes knocking at my door. I can hear him. I can hear him coming. He's coming. I can hear Mr. T. But will anyone turn up for the reunion? I mean, someone should. Please, somebody just show up. <laughs>